is the gross appearance of a typical adult polycystic kidney and it is an example of autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease or ADPKD. This is the commonest cystic kidney disease with a frequency of between 1 in 500 and 1 in 1000 births with no sex predominance. It is the fourth commonest cause of end-stage kidney disease and around 10% of cases needing dialysis or transplant are patients with autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease and it presents in the third to fifth decades as these cysts gradually expand and over time compromise normal renal function. Inheritance is autosomal dominant with almost complete penetrance. The most frequent gene mutation is the PKD1 mutation on chromosome 16P, accounting for around 78% of cases. Around 15% of cases are caused by the PKD2 gene mutation on chromosome 4Q, but around 10% of cases of autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease are due to new mutations with no family history. The cysts develop in all segments of the nephron. Presenting symptoms include loin pain, hematuria, urinary tract infections that are more frequent in females than males and urinary tract infections occur in 50 to 75 percent of patients with autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. Other problems include kidney stones, hypertension and cardiovascular disease and of course chronic kidney disease. Diagnosis may be made with ultrasound scans, CT and or MRI. Pathology is found outside the kidneys associated with autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease include von Meyenberg complexes in the liver and hepatic fibrosis. Von Meyenberg complexes are biliary hamartomas. Cysts may be found in the spleen, liver, pancreas, seminal vesicles and pineal gland and in around 10% of cases berry aneurysms are present. In addition aortic aneurysms may occur and also mitral valve prolapse. The kidneys are initially almost normal but over time become massively expanded by countless enlarging cysts ranging from millimeters to centimeters in diameter and the kidneys may each weigh up to seven kilograms eventually. The cyst contents may be clear, opaque or hemorrhagic fluid that may be watery or solid or have a colloid-like appearance. Histological features of autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease include cysts lined by flattened cuboidal cells in a single cell layer. There may be papillae and adenomas developing. The parenchyma shows fibrosis with atrophy of tubules and sclerosis of glomeruli and the cyst walls may become calcified. This is the cut surface of a kidney affected by autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease where the normal renal architecture is being destroyed by cysts of varying sizes. And this is the external appearance of the kidney. One thing to note is that in autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, the kidneys retain the normal reniform shape, despite the huge size they can attain. This is the histological appearance of autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. At the bottom of the picture is a cyst containing proteinaceous debris. Here is another view with some large, larger cysts and some nephrons that are dilated. And in addition, the parenchyma 
is showing fibrosis.